Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are back in the VAB today, not working on Project Mars, so I could probably go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, I don't have a name for this yet. But we're going to just go with that for an acronym, and I'll explain why. Because we have a Jupiter window coming up in a uh, hundred and some odd days, which means it's time to start building out our rocket now. And while we do have uh, one flight there uh, en route already to uh, explore some of Jupiter's moons, hopefully, and one flight currently there that's on an intercept course for Io, uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to send something there to, uh, again, achieve orbit and then drop some things through the atmosphere of Jupiter and try to uh, radio back what science it can from inside the atmosphere. So I'm going to start building out this spacecraft. Um, this is our one-ton bus. This is going to be the core, the orbiter section of the spacecraft, if you will. And uh, I'll get to talking about things uh, after I've built it in post. So get ready for some more sped-up build footage, as is my purview. And we're starting out with the uh, one-ton satellite core and the Voyager antenna and some RTGs to provide. And now we'll get the mounts for our RCS system figured out once we've got those uh, looking a little better and get the thrusters mounted and configured for aerozine and N2O. And then we'll get the fuel balance for the core of the orbiter figured out as well as an adequate supply of electric charge to keep this thing going even though the RTGs should keep it topped up the whole time. Now onto the uh, atmospheric uh, drop probes. I am going to mount them radially. It just seems to work out better this way. Now they're going to be super, super basic. They're just going to have a battery, no means of generating electric charge, some antennas, and some science ex experiments because they are ultimately disposable. And I don't anticipate them surviving more than one pass through Jupiter's atmosphere. The uh, hope, however, is that they'll be able to radio back uh, enough data to make this whole trip worthwhile. So we've got our thrusters for them configured now, and it's time to uh, balance their fuels and give them a uh, bit of a science loadout. Again, this is going to be super basic. We're just going to go for the uh, five tiny science experiments, which is always awkward because there's five of them and no good way of getting symmetry on them in a decent way. So I'm just kind of praying that they're light enough to not throw off the center of mass of each of the uh, drop pods. And I really should come up with some kind of naming scheme for the two of them and also for the mission in general so if you've got suggestions for either of those twin themed and then for the orbiter itself i'd love to hear them all right well uh, i actually think uh that does it super simple super easy not a whole lot of excess loadout not a whole lot of excess weight i think our total for this whole flight is uh less than one ton point uh, nine two six Jeez, this is probably going to be the absolute uh, lightest thing that this uh, HV upper stage has uh, ever flown to anywhere ever, which is pretty cool. Um, so here's hoping that maybe we'll be able to get a good low orbit around Jupiter as we've got our new greatly improved transfer stage, although uh, I guess you don't need these antennas because they are going to be useless. Yes, we will get rid of those. And really, after you, oh, oh, oh yeah, because I only wanted two of them. Derp, derp, yep, get rid of both of them. Uh, make sure that these are configured correctly, because I have an issue with doing that now. Oh, come on. Let me, yeah, there we go, good. And we're, everything there is set up. All of our tanks are good. This is uh, quite excellent, I have to say. I'm... I should probably lock these fuel tanks, but I don't want to because it's tedious. But, all right, fine. I'll lock the fuel tanks. <laughs> click, click. Yeah. So, uh, that's going to be our new Jupiter mission, which will fly out in a little over 100 days. Uh, 150 some odd days. We do have a few, hopefully, other things to build out before we get all the way out to doing that. But, um... Really, I think we're going light on the Jupiter missions currently. There's no foreseeable transfer windows to kick from Jupiter to anything else for like another decade, sadly enough. I checked with MechJeb trying to see what all we could do, and really there's there's next to nothing. So, um, yeah, that's, that's that. I don't know. Uh, I think that's going to do it for us today. Sorry, it was uh, exceptionally quick, but 
I don't know, nothing, no launch windows currently. So I'm kind of biding my time and trying to build things. So we'll just, we'll have to see how these things go. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, see you later.